Freeman, and so now they're at the Kids' Choice Sports Awards. What's up? This is Matt Barnes of the Sacramento Kings, and we're here at the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. Thank you so much. You ready? So, who are you excited to see tonight? Uh, I'm excited to see Kobe get the Legend Award. You know, it's a long time coming, and and uh, I've seen his rise to to success, and so it'd be fun to see that. Are there any tricks that the kids are doing these days that you wish you would have been able to do back in the day? Oh, he's probably still doing. <laughs> probably. Uh, yeah, I, I wish I had the facilities they have. I think that's it. You know what I mean? Like, I love the stuff they were doing, and I don't know if we would have been able to create that given those facilities, but uh, I just love being a fan of it. I mean, yeah, sure, I'd wish I could go 20 feet in the air and do a, a 900, but um, I feel pretty good about my skating still, so I'm going to stick with what I'm doing. What's your favorite board? My favorite board? Um... Just my signature model. It's, it's, I've had the same shape for about 15 years and works for me. Are there any tricks that you can't do anymore? There aren't that many. Uh, that Honestly, I've been doing most of my tricks lately. In fact, I just did a 900 a couple weeks ago and 17 years later after the first one. So I feel like I've still got, still got game. You still got game. <laughs> you pretty much can keep up with any of the kids that are starting out now. I, I mean, there's definitely super technical tricks that I don't even want to try because I know it would just take me years of frustration. Um, but, but yeah, I can hold my own. What kind of advice would you give the kids out there? Just if they want to be a professional athlete, anything that they want to do and aspire to do, what kind of advice would you give? Uh, I just believe in yourself. Um, really to follow your passion and, and have confidence in what you're doing and, and keep challenging yourself. Don't, don't just rest on your prior accolades. Like make sure you're always learning and, and stepping that up. So when you were a kid growing up and your mom was like, okay, come in for dinner. You're like, no, no, I have to really hone in on this. And I mean, this is well, going to make me to, famous. I used to be at the skate park, so they would drag. They would literally drag me out of the skate park a couple times. And, and what did what did they say after you became famous? Because I'm sure at the time <laughs> they didn't think, "Oh my God, he's right. Uh, this is going to pay for his college." No, now. they were really supportive, but I think it was just I was I was excessive with my time. <laughs> but doesn't it take that though to become a to to I get to so. the just level that you yeah, I mean, that I don't you achieve? Obsessive, but but more determined. That was the best. That was the best uh, explanation for my mom is that I was very determined. And what's the best advice that you ever received regarding life? Um, enjoy the ride. You know, so a lot of the times, when I, especially when I was focused on competition, I wasn't really enjoying all the, all of the occasions and places I got to go. You know, it was just so like it was, it was all about winning and, and doing well. And, and through my later years, I've realized to just sort of enjoy the, everything, even, even the losses. Is that what you tell your kids now? Yeah, I think they see it by example now. And did you teach them? I did, yeah. They all yeah. skate. Yeah. They're all great? Mm-hmm. They're all good, yeah. Well, my, my oldest son is a pro. Really? Yeah. How old is he? He's 23. Oh, nice. Follows he do- after his father's footsteps. <laughs> yeah, in, in a little, yeah, kind of. He has his own style. Does he do ramp as well? Uh, he does mostly street and skate park stuff. Right. And then are you better than him or is he better than you? He's much better than me at the street stuff. I mean, like, I doesn't even compare. Can you do us a big favor? Can you look into the camera, say your name, and tell them that you're here at the Kids' Choice Sports Awards? All right. Hey, it's Tony Hawk. I'm at the Kids' Choice Sports Awards. So are you now. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Have a great day. Well, do me a big favor. Yeah. Look into the camera, say your name, and plug your show. Hey, I'm Kel Mitchell, and I'm on Game Shakers, only on Nickelodeon every Saturday night at 8.30. Watch it. Hey, Kel, <laughs> can I have you please say a welcome to the burger? Oh, yes. Okay. Do you want me to hold it? Or? Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? <laughs> Ready? Go. Rolling. Hi, Jonathan. How are you doing tonight? Doing wonderful. It's great to be out here. Great to be out here. This, um, who are you looking forward to seeing tonight? Oh, gosh. You know what? I'm looking forward to seeing the whole thing, but my son is just super excited to be here. And, you know, this is for the kids, and um, it's a fantastic event. They do a fantastic job. I'm just happy to be here and see the whole thing. Is this your son's first time? This is his first time. He's, like, in heaven right now. And, like, as an 11-year-old, it doesn't get any better than this. Does he play football? He does. He does. And uh, I'm one of those guys who – I'm going to let my son play football right now. Uh, I know they got all the concussion and things, but right now it's a great game. You're fine. You're doing fine. Look right now. <laughs> How many fingers do you have up? Uh, three and a half. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of advice would you give kids out there who are trying to be a professional athlete and just trying to aspire to do what they want to do? I'd say do well in school. Honestly, I mean, so few people actually make it to the professional levels, but school is a great avenue to whatever you want. 
And if you're good enough in the sports, you know, your focus on school will also translate over to focus on the field, which will translate into perhaps success in professional ranks. So just be focused at everything you do, and then good things will happen. Are you still out in Maryland? I still have a place out in Maryland. I also have a place in Las Vegas, and this is my old stomping grounds here at Westwood. So this is just kind of like a flashback when you come back to UCLA. Lots of fun tonight, huh? Lots of fun. Lots so of three fun. places. Obviously, he's done rather well. <laughs> so what's the best advice you ever received? Just be myself. And just don't try to be anybody but yourself and just always work as hard as you can and try to maximize my own potential. Did you ever get any spiritual advice? Just, uh, yes. I mean, my grandmother used to always give me a lot of spiritual advice, but it was more along the same line, just being a good, true person and just trying to do unto others. I know it sounds cliche. Do unto others, say do unto you. I mean, and it really works. I like that. Yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank Can you, you do a quick Just shout out for us yeah, for sure. Time Warner? Who are we doing this? Uh, for Time Warner. Time yes. Warner. Yeah. Say your name first. Yeah, this is Jonathan Ogden, Hall of Famer for the uh, Baltimore Ravens. Uh, just want to give you guys a shout out here at the Nickelodeon Awards and uh, much love.